It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be having a look at Stag Chili, Dynamite Chili Con Carne Hot. Uh, it's a shaped minced beef with kidney beans and pinto beans in a hot chili sauce. Warning, a seriously hot chili. We love the hot stuff on this channel these days and we're going to be pairing it with some sausage. Not some regular sausage, but some pork habanero and sweet fire chili sausages. 400 grams. Oh, lovely and orange they look. And the last thing we're going to be pairing it with is a McCain's Shape Shape Wedges smoky barbecue flavour. So, a chilli dog with some wedges. Let's get cooking. There's the chili dogs, there's the wedges. Whack that underneath me. Buttered bread roll, loads of chili, loads of dog. Does that make sense? Loads of chili, loads of dog. Anyway, let's, uh, this is gonna get messy, guys. Oh. Just bread there. Oh my goodness me. Mmm. That is just. <gasps> ah. That is so tasty, but yeah, that packs a punch. Mmm. But. Such a punch to this. It's made my face go red. It's either made my face go red because it's hot or. I'm in this hot kitchen after cooking all this food. <clears throat> but kidney beans are, are buttery and lovely. The sausage is really succulent pork sausage there. The spices are coming through nicely. A little bit of sweet uh, spice coming through. What they call it, sweet fire chili. Now the habaneros there most definitely you can see some of the chili there in there ah, it's really tasty but hot and the chili con carne that is absolutely spectacular mm. that is a marriage made in heaven oh my goodness me that is absolutely divine I just love the bean. The beans are just so lovely and buttery. The spice kind of very much lets you know it's there. You can see it's letting me know it's there. But I'm not struggling as I did with the fowl curry the other week. The ghost pepper pizza. And then the what was the other thing I did? The Carolina Reaper curry. That was that was that, that was hot. The pizza one was hot as the two curries. It was all very very hot. But mmm. Don't feel the need for any kind of milk or water. But it's still enough to get the old puffy face going. Yeah, the old red puffy face. Somebody told me. I was in Italy recently. Somebody said, you, you look like Paul Gascoigne or whatever, you know, the, the accent. I was like, oh, really? Thanks very much. Thanks very much. I don't specifically go out my way to look like Paul Gascoigne, but thank you very much. He said, you cheeky chappy. He said, you cheeky chappy. <laughs> Hence the puffy face. Right. Shake, shake, wedges, smoky barbecue. I'm a massive, massive chip fan. 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. Something. The chili was one pound fifty. The wedges were one pound fifty. The sausages were two quid. That's that three fifty for five pound. The bread was fifty p. Five pound fifty. I always knock up more. I don't know if you're the same, you guys, who are watching out there. Are you the same as me, whereas you will cook the whole pack of sausages and then you may take a couple to work cold, a couple of cold sausages with you the next day with a bread roll or something. Even even these some of these cold wedges would be great the next day. Even the chilli. Take some chilli in a pot. Make yourself a chilli dog the next day. There's plenty. See, I've got... There's still quite a bit of the chilli in that pan. So lots to go round then. Paprika. Mmm. Tasty paprika fries. Time for the second hot dog. And while I'm here, do I do the channel? I was going to make a separate video about a channel update. Um, I'll, I'll talk very briefly about where the... And then we'll make a separate video, I think. I'll make a very brief video. I've come to realise that I have to produce content on YouTube that the people want to watch and they're very much engaged with. People are really engaged with the chili videos. It's been viewed in the thousands and thousands and thousands, so why wouldn't I carry on with this kind of thing? I love the food, I love making the videos. My excitement is back, I'm really kind of boom, boom, let's go, let's, let's do some cooking videos. Um, I'm enjoying it, I still love the beer, I love the beer more than ever. I've been to Croatia recently brewing a beer. Uh, I still drink beer as much as I possibly can. But they don't quite hit that level. And it's frustrating really because it started off as a beer channel. Just a pure beer channel for eight years. Eight years trying to make a, a beer channel on YouTube. And yeah, I look back and it's a shame. I'm not turning my back on beer for one moment guys. I'm just having a quick conversation with you guys. I still love having all the beer that comes my way and I review, I, I still, I would say I still produce 10 to 14 beer reviews a week and now four food videos. So it's still predominantly beer. I'm not standing here saying I'm not going to review any more beer again. It's still a predominantly beer focused channel. I just love doing the food. That's the update. I'm going to make a proper video about this going forward. Let's get back into this hot dog. Mmm. I don't know if this is just a UK thing, this stag chilli. Where... Well, it's produced in Denmark, so it's probably a European thing. Wearing some of it. That's pretty cool. A, a, a Scandinavian chilli product. So it's probably a European thing, so you're probably watching around Europe. Thinking I'm going to go and get some of this chilli con carne. It's perfect, it's really good, especially with a nice spicy hot dog. Get this done. Again, one more time. Love the beans, the chili beans, the meat. The spice is a wonderful level for me. It's the right level. It's a lovely burn. It's made my face red. But it's not the it's an enjoyable heat it's not a, a level of heat where I'm crying in the kitchen not really finishing the food after I'm gonna eat all these hot dogs and eat all that chili it's terrific
And of course, munch down them wedges. Mmm, good. <clears throat> More wedges. I get a lot of criticism as well. I'm going to make another video about this. I get a lot of criticism about drinking really kind of top quality, top class craft beer. And then my food is not kind of the same par. Does it have to be though? Does it, if I really enjoy beer, um, I've never been like a, a Michelin star restaurant type of guy. I've been to two or three, been taken to two or three. One, I actually left uh, and I went to, to a burger shop. I went to a fast food shop and I got a chicken burger and chips. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't for me, guys. I do understand your criticism. It is a bit weird. Love him. Top craft, top class craft beer. And not really enjoying top, top kind of Michelin star food. But you know what? I see beer is for the every man. I see food is for the every man. Thanks for watching. Would I buy? The sausages again, absolutely. Pork habanero and sweet fire chili. Uh, the shake shake wedges are absolutely terrific. Yes, I'd buy them again. And that chili, there was all there will always be a tin of that chili, I assure you, in my kitchen cupboard. That will always be there. It's amazing. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.